Home cooks are often intimidated by cooking fish, and you know, they really shouldn't be. It's really one of the simplest things to do. Lots of techniques for doing. What we're going to explore right now is pan searing or sauteing. It's basically the same technique, a pan with just a bit of oil in it. Uh, pan searing, we do at a higher temperature for thicker cuts of fish like this Alaska halibut that we have here. That enables us to get a nice crust on there, which is really delicious. Uh, thick cuts of salmon could also be done. Even big scallops are delicious pan seared. Sautéing is a little lower temperature, but still in the pan for thinner cuts of fish. We have some lovely pollock here, but you could do this with uh, thinner slices of cod. It all works the same way. Um, season it simply. I think that's the best thing to do. You want to taste the beauty of the fish. A little salt and pepper is perfectly fine, or you could use your own little dry spice rubber or seasoning mix, either you know homemade or a commercial one. Even a little brush with a little vinaigrette can be really delicious. What we're going to do today, though, to sort of finish this off is do a pan deglazing sauce. Fish are cooked, taken out of the pan, then without washing the pan, we throw into it some chicken stock, some white wine, squeeze of lemons, a little herb reduce that down, and then as the final step, swirl in a little bit of butter. What I've done is I've lightly seasoned the fish with just a little salt and pepper. Remember, don't over-season it because we have our wonderful pan sauce that we're going to put on here. I have some olive oil heating in the pan. We want to do this at moderately high heat because this is the time in which I'm going to build up this nice crust there. And then I always like to add just a little bit of butter to this because it adds nice flavor. Don't cook it just in butter because butter burns at a lower temperature. So we're going to swirl that around, let that melt just a little bit, just like so. Ooh, wonderful aroma coming out. I'm going to take the fish. The, the key here is be sure not to overcrowd the fish in the pan. And one of the little techniques that we learned in the restaurant business is when you drop it in the pan, if you give the pan just a little shake, it, the tendency is for it not to stick. After doing that, though, don't touch it. Let it really cook without sort of fussing around with it because this is where we kind of build up our crust. Okay, so this is cooked for oh, a minute or two here. What I'm going to do is flip it over, and if all things go right, we have this beautiful brown crust on it. And at this point, what you want to do is probably because these are big, thick, beautiful pieces of Alaska halibut, I'm going to turn the heat down a little bit so that it has a chance to cook through. Uh, what we often do in restaurants at this point is we'll take it and stick it in a moderate oven and let it finish cooking in there because that's... Um, you know, it's a more even heat, but you can certainly do it on top of the stove. So we're going to let this cook down. See that beautiful crust? Uh, then we're going to take it out when it's done and to check for when it's done. The easiest way is just to take the point of a knife, uh, go into it, and we just want to make sure that it's opaque all the way through. So I want to make the point again about thick versus thin fish. So we have, we're doing our little piece of pollock here. The oil, I'm going to add a little butter, but you don't have to if you don't want to. So we're going to slide this in. And here, I don't have to lower the heat because it's a thinner piece of fish. It's going to cook through more quickly. Remember, if it's a big, beautiful, thick piece of fish like our halibut was, uh, we need to turn the heat down so that that gentle heat will allow it to cook all the way through to the center. So this is a perfect example of that idea of sauté, that we do it very quickly. Uh, we don't have to turn the heat down. It's moderately high. I'm going to turn it over here. You can see that it's nicely browned on top. Uh, we're going to let it cook. It's only going to take about another minute or so to cook. And one of the other things that I like to do, especially if I'm off making a little sauce or doing something, 
At this point I could actually take it off the heat and allow it to finish cooking while I set up my plate. We're going to make our quick deglazing sauce. What this is, all of these little, I poured off most of the fat, just a teaspoon or two of the fat that we cook the fish in. All these little brown bits that are down here, those are our little flavor nuggets. And so what I'm going to do with this is to take some shallots or some green onions, get those cooking. We'll put those around uh, just for a minute or so. Again, we just want to lightly brown them. I'm going to splash in some chicken stock. Whoa, like so. Uh, a splash of white wine. Uh, I'm going to do just a little bit of fresh herb at this point. And then what we're going to do is to scrape around the bottom of the pan to scrape up those little brown bits. Let this reduce until it becomes a little syrupy. It'll reduce by 50, 60 percent or so. Okay, so this is nicely reduced. Took two or three minutes to get down there. You can see it's kind of syrupy. What I want to do is to taste it to sort of see what we've created here. Mm, it's good. I'm going to throw in just a little bit more herb. Maybe a little squeeze of lemon would be nice with this. And we're going to take our butter now, put it in here off the heat. You swirl this around until the butter melts into the sauce. It thickens it, adds that wonderful buttery flavor. This is my favorite. This is so simple. It's my favorite sauce for any Alaska seafood. So this goes right over the top like so and yum. That's it.